Tim asks, The US Department of Justice recently brought charges against a US citizen for operating a custodial Bitcoin mining service. The service had apparently been advertised explicitly to clean Bitcoin used on dark web systems. Can you discuss what you think are the risks, maybe, for participating in mixing services, either custodial or non-custodial, for privacy purposes within the US and other jurisdictions? Do you think that US citizens should be worried if they have used systems like Wasabi or Samurai, even if they have not done anything illegal with their Bitcoin? Um, that's a tough question. I'm going to do my best to answer it for you, Tim. Now, uh, please note the distinction. The charges brought by the U.S. Justice Department recently are not against the user of a coin join or mixing service, but against the operator of the uh, servers that are involved in a coin join or mixing service. Um, and I'm assuming it has something to do with facilitating. Um, money laundering or something like that in this particular case. Um, now, there are a number of ways to uh, do transactions on Bitcoin that have more than one participant. And these transactions can be done in a number of ways. And one of the ways is to use a wallet that provides this as a service using a decentralized or centralized infrastructure, something like the Samurai wallet, the Wasabi wallet, um, uh, services such as Join Market, etc. Now, all of these types of services provide for privacy. Uh, since Bitcoin and many other blockchains are open and transparent public ledgers, you can do a lot of statistical analysis on the transactions and see the balances people have, and if their addresses have touched uh, a, a system that has. Uh, information that ties their identity, such as an exchange that does KYC, um, or uh, a merchant service that has delivered something to their name and house, uh, then it's fairly easy to associate those addresses and the future movement of coins and breach the privacy of these users. First of all, a very, very important disclaimer. Um, I am not a lawyer, and what I'm going to say now is not legal advice. Um, especially even if I was a lawyer, no one can have a crystal ball that tells them what the US uh, Department of Justice will do next and what charges they might bring against someone. Furthermore, um, just because charges are brought against someone doesn't mean that these charges can be proven in a court of law uh, effectively and that uh, a jury will convict um, on these charges, although uh, the American justice system is now approaching totalitarian levels of uh, conviction, where the vast majority of federal cases that are brought uh, result in guilty pleas, uh, deals, or uh, convictions. So, um, having said all that, let me try to be as candid as possible with Tim's question. Uh, I think that, uh, at least for now, uh, there is a serious risk for people who operate the servers uh, or supporting infrastructure uh, for mixing services. I am unsure about what the implications are for US citizens who use uh, mixing services in order to increase their privacy. Um, theoretically speaking, from what I understand, if you're not a money transmitter and you're engaging in a private transaction, I don't know whether uh, that can be considered um, money laundering. But then again, the Justice Department can claim it is and bring charges against anyone they want at any time for any charge. You can't stop someone from uh, suing you, um, and it's not until you reach a conviction that the law will decide whether in fact that conviction is fair. Given the climate of fear and suspicion, and the degree to which authorities are able to paint people as uh, evil and um, paint any type of financial transaction as potentially uh, criminal if it's not under the traditional financial system, 
I wouldn't be surprised if uh, people were convicted for using mixing services, even if they're not running them. Um, th this is a challenging environment. I think uh, participating in a mixing service is just doing a transaction, but uh, then again, um, I, I'm not a prosecutor. So, Tim, this is a really, really tricky area at the moment, um, and it can be a high-risk area for people who uh, reside in the US or for people who reside in uh, totalitarian countries. Um, or any country where the government is um, likely to prosecute for these kinds of things. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like, and share. All my work is shared for free, so if you want to support it, join me on Patreon.